Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Live on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithlive.com. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Orly Summer 2021 collection and I'm going to be reviewing this collection down at Pike Place Market with my friend Summer. So let's stop chatting, let's get into the swatches. Okay guys, here we are at Pike Place Market and I've got the beautiful Tangerine Dream here. The Orly website says, sunny skies are here, it's time to safely soak up that vitamin D, this tangy tangerine cream is stunning on sun-kissed skin and i love this polish this is such a fun bright orange i have nothing in my collection quite like this polish and i'm obsessed so this is a three coater i did three coats here in the live swatch three coats in the swatch picture and this may be one of my favorites in the collection these polishes don't dry quite as matte as most neon polishes do. You can see here, Tangerine Dream compared to other polishes. And I do not have a top coat on it. So you can see how shiny it actually is. But here I'm comparing it to Tangerine Heat from the China Glaze Spring 2021 collection. Tangerine Tease from the Essie Summer 2021 collection. And China Glaze Son of a Peach. Okay, and then next here we have it compared to Orly Kitch You Later, Essie Souls on Fire from their Neon Collection. I would say it's probably most similar to that polish, but I feel like it has a better formula. And then I decided to compare it to Feeling Wellies because it was looking yellow in one of the shots that I took. So I compared it to Feeling Wellies. Okay, and then moving right along to our next polish. This is... Neon Paradise. The Orly website says, let this bright lime green clean, rhyme, lime green queen, let this bright lime green cream transport you to a paradise where neon signs are buzzing and your next adventure is just around the corner. Okay, so this is another favorite. <laughs> I'm loving these greens lately. You guys know how I used to feel about greens, but now I'm loving them. They are super bright, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to wear them to work, but I feel like out on a sunny day, out on Lake Union, on my paddleboard, this color will be perfect. So this is a three coater. I did three coats in the live swatch, three coats in the swatch picture, and you will see it here compared to some of the other greens that have recently come out including a sneak peek at Zoya Link. You can see that on my ring finger, and then I also compared it to Come On Clover and Morgan Taylor's Into the Limelight. I do like Into the Limelight better than Neon Paradise. So if you guys are trying to figure out which green to get, go for Morgan Taylor's Into the Limelight. It's got such a nice formula and it's so creamy. And just a side note, Beyond Polish does currently have Into the Limelight on their website. I do have an affiliate code with Beyond Polish. It is B-I-V-10, BIV-10. It can only be used on regularly priced items, but if you look through their website, they've got a lot of regularly priced items. Thank you guys for using it if you have used it in the past. And then we have it compared to We Don't Mesh from the SE Expressy collection, Feeling Just Lime from this year's Summer 2021 collection from SE, and China Glaze It's All Techno. No dupes here. And then we have Kaleidoscope Eyes. The Orly website says, picture yourself lounging in the summer sun, refreshing drink in hand with this bright lilac purple. And that's the perfect description for this polish. This is lilac-y, pinky purple, and I love it. I love how they've made these polishes all look neon, but they aren't necessarily what you would think of as neons. This is a three coater. I did three coats in the live swatch and three coats in the swatch picture. 
I really, really, really love this polish. I feel like it's such a wearable neon. It's not a bright in your face neon, but it's a bright polish. And then here we have it compared to Essie Playdate, Essie Spring in Your Step, and OPI Lavender to Find Courage. I would say Lavender to Find Courage is somewhat similar, but just not as bright. And then next we have it compared to You've Got Me Faded, Splash of Grenadine by Essie, and Essie Baguette Me Not. No dupes here. And I was surprised to see how dark Splash of Grenadine looked next to Kaleidoscope Eyes. I thought they would be more similar, but not so much. Okay, and next up we have another absolutely stunningly beautifully gorgeous green. This green is called Plastic Jungle. The Orly website says this is a Kelly Green Cream reminiscent of a lush jungle. And this green totally reminds me of the ferns that you see out in the forest when you're hiking around Washington. I love it. It's super bright, it's super fun, and I'm gonna say this is my favorite from the collection. This is a two-coater. I did two coats in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture. Absolutely gorgeous formula. I have nothing else to say about this, except for comparisons. <laughs> I compared this polish to Essie Feelin' Just Lime from the Summer 2021 20, collection, rated PG by OPI, and Mojito Madness by Essie. No dupes here. It's like nothing is quite as bright as Plastic Jungle. It's probably going to be my favorite new green. And then I also compared it to Essie First Timer, which most of you guys know used to be my favorite green. And then Essie on the roadie and OPI, my dog sled is a hybrid and no dupes here. Okay, and then Synthetic Symphony. The Orly website says, turn up the volume and dance your heart out. Rock this high voltage, bright purple cream and hit the high notes on your next night out. And this is a polish that I would say is not necessarily neon, but Everybody includes this purple in their neon collections. It's a bright purple and it's absolutely beautiful, but I wouldn't describe it as neon. So this is a two coater. I did two coats in the live swatch, two coats in the swatch picture. This has an absolutely stunning formula. It could almost be a one coater. And then I have quite a few comparisons for this polish. So you can see a sneak peek at Zoya Banks there. And then I also compared it to Essie Tangoed in Love and Dial It Up. And then here we have it compared to Essie Berlin the Club IRL from the Expressi Collection and OPI Mariachi Makes My Day. And then some more purples. We have Essie Wink of Sleep, which is pretty similar but not quite as bright. Essie Sweet Retreat and Essie Preta Surfer. And then OPI Oh You Sing Dance Act and Produce the longest name in the history of nail polishes, <laughs> and Essie Shades On. Okay, and then we have Artificial Orange. This was the hardest polish ever to get color accurate. So you can see me kind of going in the shade and going in the sun, trying to figure out where it looks most color accurate. And I would say right here is where it actually looks most color accurate. You can also see in my swatch that I made it kind of cool tone and that's just to make sure that the polish color is accurate. So my hands totally look blue. They aren't. I just wanted to let you guys see how bright this polish is. This is a gorgeous polish. I got so many compliments on this polish at work from patients, from coworkers. So I definitely recommend picking this one up. It's totally wearable. It's bright. It's fun. It's so summery and it's a must have. And then here we have it compared to Morgan Taylor's Orange Crush from their summer collection, Zoya Ella and Essie Throw in the Towel. And there's just nothing quite as bright. I did compare this to some brights 
Here I compared it to Morgan Taylor Spin Me Around, Essie Lounge Lover, and Essie Strike a Rose, and you can see no dupes here. All right guys, so which polish was your fave? Let me know in the comments down below, and also let me know which collection you guys are excited to see next. I've got Hala Taco on the way, I've got the new ILMP collection on the way, I've also got the Cert Colors Summer 21 collection on the way, and I've got Zoya Neon, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys are excited to see. And also, let me know what else you guys are excited to see around the Seattle area. Otherwise, hope you guys all have an absolutely amazing week. Love you all. Bye.